This is Athena Jezik, and I'm going to work a little bit on Karina today. So I'm just going to just be working then up the neck, and then I'm going to be doing a little bit in the head. But what I wanted to talk to you today primarily is about the fact that the mind and the body for most people are not connected. Most people are extremely disconnected from their body. They don't uh, think they are, but they really are. And there's ways you can tell when people get more in line with their body because of how their behavior will change or what they're putting into their body will change or the way that they take care of it when there's things going on in the body. They'll go to more alternative things instead of using more toxic things. They're more aware of their environment and the things going on in the environment because it takes that kind of a consciousness to really begin to understand why we need to be connected to the body. But then there's also things about the body that most people don't think about, which is why we need to be connected for the function that is optimal to, to occur. So if you think about it, I'm just going to be doing, let me just break here a little and I'm just doing a little, moving some fluids through here. Now the body, when it's functioning properly, that is going to, you know, regulate a lot of things of the way that our behavior is going to be, but it's more than that. It's much, much more than that. We have to understand that the structural alignment at the subtle level, the su subtle structural alignment is, is the base for where we have to begin to work with ourselves. The structure of anything is, is determined by a proper base, you know, whether it's a house or a car or anything, it's got to have a strong structure and a strong base in order for it to be functional. If the car's front end is out of alignment, then you're going to wear and tear out the tires to a degree. If the studs in the house are crooked, then the wall is going to not work very well. It'll maybe hold up for a while, but it'll start to droop or pop loose or whatever. So that's another thing to consider. We translate that into the body, and if the body is in alignment to the best of its ability, then you're going to have the energies running in the body, and you're going to have the functional part in the body that's going to be working really quite well. So that's the modality that I am, I have been really led to that, I guess you could say. I've been led to the uh, subtle stuff, and as I work more and more with the subtle stuff, I'm realizing that it's all frequency. There are very high vibrational subtle frequencies in the body that we uh, have to also understand for optimal health because those subtle frequencies tie into the body. And there's a lot of material that I'll be giving that in my course. But I just wanted you to understand that the body and the mind are very important to connect. You know, we have a nerve that comes, a cranial nerve called the vagus nerve, and that runs down to the gut. A lot of people say, and I agree with this, that we have like two brains. The gut is a brain and the head is a brain. So let's just take just that simple concept and say, well, if that's connected by that vagus nerve. So the gut will give us sensations if something isn't quite right. It also will tell us when something's not right in the body. So when people are just, you know, disconnected from their body, 
their gut might be telling them something but they're not paying attention and instead they're allowing the mind to take over with habits or whatever and they'll just continue to do things that are not helping what that gut is asking for and then you also have the heart that it's where you can find things but that's at a higher in my opinion at a higher dimension when you get to the heart space the energy systems the chakras and all of that are connected into the body in certain ways too and in order to correct any kind of subtle energy field you have got to have a body that's in alignment and well corrected as well so in case you're wondering what I'm doing here is I'm kind of melding onto the skin of the scalp and just rotating it around it's a nice way to get people to relax but you don't want to just rub the head so that you're slipping the hair like across the hair follicles you want to actually move the skin and that thin thin muscle underneath so you can make little circles or big circles or just kind of move it around. When you want to get yourself connected to yourself, it's inner work. You have to work with the shadow side of yourself. The shadow side is the side very few people really want to go to because it's pulling up a lot of old energies, old memories, if you begin to understand the world at a bigger way, we are somewhat trapped in here through various energy frequency fields. And we haven't been able to move very far. And part of that could be because we've been so programmed into ignorance that we are unable to move forward because in order to move forward, we have to pass certain tests, if you will. We can't just move, you know, a person can't move from preschool to senior high in two days. They have to go through a process. It's the same thing with uh, the elements of life and what we're going to learn in life and how we're going to learn what, what's happening in the real world, what's been a story told to us that many people believe. and. When we can begin to work with that stuff and accept that and begin to be at least willing to open our mind to that, then that's when the process begins where we can really start to connect to our body. There's so many people that I know that will claim that they're an empath or something like that when they just really don't like to talk about negative things. But you have to be taught how to be an empath. And we have that in us. We can do that, but we've been so pushed down. So the time is coming now where we're going to raise above that. And it all starts with finding yourself, finding your connection with your body, knowing who you are, and moving through life with a whole different perspective. And nobody can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. It's a hard journey because the indoctrination and the programming that we've had has been so strong that most people just ridicule something that they hear that's the truth. And the sad thing is, is very a lot of people are supporting the very thing that's creating the damage for them in the long run. So I just want to emphasize some of that since I'm moving away from having to have a script, I'm able to talk more freely and both Karina and I are going to be enjoying passing on a lot of good information for you all. So I hope you appreciated the little talk that I had while I was just getting Karina relaxed down with just some little head movements here. And it's very simple to do. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you later. I want to invite you to explore my course, The Foundations of Subtle Alignment. Misalignment of the subtle structures is often the root cause of chronic pain, injuries, and chronically high levels of stress hormones. 
In this course, you will learn about the subtle anatomy and a protocol for assessing and aligning the subtle structures.